It's all over. It's all downhill from here. We've hit new highs. That's it. It's done. <laughs> Welcome to the morning cryptos. I don't know what clever thing to say this morning. <laughs> what do I say that's clever that gets your attention that says, hey, watch this very cool video by a guy who knows absolutely nothing about cryptos. Learn about cryptos. Blow his brains with new stuff to learn about cryptos. Because that's what this is. This is the hypnosis of money my name is Mark Shepard, and uh, it is Saturday, the second day of September, and the 34th day of my 90-day challenge to just pour myself down into the rabbit hole of crypto. And if you look back at week one, which started July 31st, uh, it was the week we were waiting for the hard fork of Bitcoin. That's ancient history now. And uh, I spent that week since nothing was moving in the the markets very much everything was kind of on hold waiting for the hard fork everybody was pausing and watching <laughs> i took that opportunity to learn about high yield investment programs which i'm glad i learned in the first two weeks to not mess with um and this is a lot more fun uh because the markets are honest <laughs> right the markets will be there tomorrow they may be lower than you want. They may be a lot lower than you want. However, they'll still be there. And uh, I was just listening to a couple uh, of people talk while I was making my coffee. Um, Richard Hart did a live stream yesterday, and I haven't. I just started listening to the beginning of it. It's a long conversation, and uh, was, he and this other guy were talking about you know basically being old timers in the Bitcoin space and how you know there is a change new. New adapters are coming in, and the entire crypto sphere is very, very different now. And that's going to happen. And that's that's why the like the early, early, early adapters they get into something, and then it's so esoteric that the average person has no clue, and they like it that way. They like being different and uh, cool. And then. Uh, then other people start coming in and then non-computer programmers start coming in. They were talking about how these markets are so much more accessible to people who don't have a computer background. And that's, that's the process that I'm trying to capture here on the hypnosis of money is that we are in a massive, massive social, economic, and political transformation right now. And it's really fun to kind of have this window into the entire world adopting or adapting to a new way of thinking. So that's really my shtick. That's my thing. Uh, and in the process, uh, I'm getting, I'm really having a blast uh, doing this crypto trading. And of course, you know, there are moments when I think like, wow, I'm really good at this. But there's also moments when I realize this is a really good time to learn. Because you can actually earn while you learn. And uh, so we're looking right now at a whole new thing. It's called Coinigi or Coin I G Y or Coinigi or Coin I G <laughs> Coinigi. I kind of like Coinigi. Maybe that's the way people say it. I don't know. Right? And uh, please correct me if I'm making a total fool of myself by mispronouncing it. Anyway, it's a cool thing where it literally has. Over here on the left, all of the different exchanges. Right now I'm on Bittrex. I could go to uh, Bitfinex and look at their charts. They all seem to be pretty much the same. So this is Bitcoin and the US dollar. I'm not quite sure what the T stands for. Um, and uh, I'm getting little alerts over here that I'm not too interested in. So let's look at Bitcoin. And of course, look at this. It comes up almost, see if I can draw a line here, 
Nice, I can draw lines. Interesting. I like. I kind of like the black background uh, of this new chart. Um, it came really, 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 really close to 5,000, right? And then what happened? Profits. People taking profits right here. And uh, that's fascinating. Like, why didn't it just go to 5,000, <laughs> right? That's where everybody's shooting for, and it will probably hit their... You know, either today, tomorrow, or the next, you know, or maybe it'll do a sideways range here, right? Uh, before it either drops like a rock or shoots up, right? <laughs> so, again, I am not in Bitcoin very much right now because it felt to me like it was just crazy and it wasn't working and, and I couldn't get in and out of it very fast. But that motivated me to begin to look at directly at these exchanges so kind of that's like the next level of you know it's like first you start i started anyway looking at documentaries and learning about bitcoin and hearing about bitcoin and then i was like oh i want to get some of that so the next step is to go to coinbase right where that's designed for new people for the person that's not technical and you can get bitcoin ethereum and litecoin there right that's it and they have wallets and you can do your thing there. You can, and then everybody said, don't leave your money at an exchange. Every, you know, expert like, really? Oh, I shouldn't leave my money at the exchange. I got to get a wallet. What's a wallet, right? So then the next step is to figure out, oh, do I have a wallet on my phone? Do I have a wallet on my computer? Do I have, which wallet do I do? Then there's a whole world of wallets. And then, oh, <laughs> once you get your wallet, then you're like, wow, I can exchange right here. But you don't have the control to buy something when you want to buy it at the price you want to buy it at, right? So then if you want to go deeper, then you got to come to these exchanges. You still need a wallet, and you probably still need a Coinbase account so you can convert your cryptos back into dollars. Or there's this whole other thing that someone told me about yesterday. And uh, by the way, I want to give a shout out and see if I can find them um, to uh, see if I had it up here. Um, you can see some of the stuff I'm working on. I had a bunch of wonderful comments from, from this guy, Alwyn Semayoa. I don't know if I said your name right, Alwyn, but, um, I mean, he, he sent me an alert, said, hey, there's a pullback in Monero. You know, he's been watching my stuff, and he's helping me, and he's giving me, like, really good ideas, right? This is the kind of community we want, not, hey, uh, get into, uh, BitSwamp, it's the greatest and latest uh, high-yield investment program. Please use my affiliate link. No, this is like people actually helping each other. So I want to really, I want to send a shout-out to Alwyn and a shout-out to um, Mel B, who told me about this thing called Tether, right? Uh, and there's a, uh, it's, I haven't done my due diligence on it, but it's essentially a, um, it's a way to kind of park your profits in a U.S. dollar token. So you're not actually converting into U.S. dollars, but it's a U.S. dollar token, so it's way less volatile than these cryptos. So if you want to take your profits and actually store them someplace. So I'm going to check into that, and I want to thank you guys so much for, for watching the Daily Cryptos, and uh, let's keep going here um, so that we can do this and let's do dash next. This is all alphabetical order. So you can have dash with Ethereum, dash to Bitcoin. We're going to still stick with US dollars because that's, oh, that's, that doesn't look very good. What the hell is that? Maybe it's, it's whatever. I'm, I'm, a, I'm uh, revealing my ignorance here why this chart is so small. Maybe they just started carrying dash or something. I'm going to go to Bitfinex and look at Dash there because I had a nice Dash chart. Dash US dollar. That's more like it. Okay. So you see, you have choices of where, where, to, where to trade, where to get stuff. And, uh, and probably the US citizens, we have the least number of choices because we're, we're protected by Big Brother from harming ourselves. All right, so Dash is at a nice little place where if you want to get in, you could get in, right? Oh, that's what I was going to do in my intro. Here's my intro. 
<sighs> take a deep breath, everyone. We're going to take a breath today. It is the morning cryptos. <sighs> yeah, maybe that'll be my opening. <laughs> anyway, Dash. Oh, and here's the cool thing with this new chart for me. Is you can choose any, anything. Like, you're not just limited to one hours and 30 minutes and one minute, but here on the uh, the one hour chart, pretty sweet little time to get in if you think it's gonna move again. Let's let's see if I can see if I can. Oops, there we go. So here's it's interesting because we do have a little support here at 360 that's good i want to see some support i don't want to see it drop like a rock i want to see it kind of take a breath and begin to consolidate and you don't need to be a rock, rocket science to figure this stuff out i mean i want to see it consolidate a little bit um good time to get into dash if you want to get some and let's look at the 30 minute chart good we have a little bit of a sideways range right here and we have support that's a good that's a good little sign that it's just pausing there's just been profit taking and that's good we want people to take profits right and then uh, we might want to go and I'm not ready to take profits and dash unless and, and this for me is my next learning curve is okay when do I you know, what are my real solid exit signals? I have my, my entry signals, and I kind of know where I want to go. Um, and some of these I want to hold long term, and some of them I want to just get in and out. So that's a whole strategy that's beginning to kind of evolve in my own hypnotic uh, self-awareness. So let's look at the one minute. And I don't see that the one minute is going to help us too much here. Uh, but it's nice to know the one minute. Actually, this is kind of helpful if you kind of compress it a little bit. Because you can see that it is in a sideways trading range as we speak. So I think the one minutes can be really helpful. So let's look next at Ethereum. We'll just stay on Bitfinex for the moment. Ethereum, US dollar. Okay, and oh, I'm still on the one minutes. So let's go back. Whoops. Let's go back to one day, the one day chart, and let's spread it out a little bit. See if I can. Whee! Okay, come on. Whoops, nope, there we go. Ah, but there is the tricky chart. <laughs> let's see if I can get this. Ah, there we go. Get up a little bit and get it a little bit bigger. Okay, so, and I apologize for you guys, I'm still learning this new chart, and it's early in the morning and my coffee hasn't hit, and my eyes are not really working that well. It's freezing in upstate New York on September 2nd. I'm wearing my fleece. I'm not turning on the heat in my house. That is not going to happen. Okay, so, um, Ethereum, it approached its high and it backed off. Right, Bitcoin approached its high and backed off. Right, even Dash approached its high, you know, and backed off. And this is normal. Look at all the red. Look at the red. Right, we breathe. We don't do anything straight. So this is literally the market breathing. It's a long weekend in the U.S. So I think a lot of people like that. Well, cool, man. I'm, I'm I'm getting out, taking my taking the weekend, taking my profits. Where where shall we go? Let's uh, let's rent a boat. <laughs> Let's rent a jet and go someplace, right? Okay, still learning, people. A lot to learn. Sorry I'm learning on camera. <laughs> Some, I don't think, like, watching somebody, like, go, hmm, 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 is very interesting to watch. But I'm trying to capture, what I'm trying to do here <laughs> is to capture the mindset, the beginner's mind, as someone comes into this and so that other people can see that it's doable. That even an idiot like me <laughs> could do this. If I could do it, you could do it, right? And that's a lot of people I've seen are like, whoa, if that guy can do it, I can do it. That's one of my learning strategies. If I see someone else who's doing it who is an idiot, I'm like, 
oh, that gives me permission to be an idiot and to not do it perfectly. And a lot of us, and this is the hypnosis piece, people, and I'll come back to this. <laughs> a lot of people are so hung up on doing everything perfectly that they take so long to even stick their toe in the water. Uh, I, I was talking to my, 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 my good buddy who's kind of my trading friend, and, uh, and he was saying, you know, Mark, it's interesting. You just dump, you just jump into the pool. I walk around the pool a few times. I look at it. I check it. I test the depth with a stick, you know, and then I'll stick my toe in the water and then I'll jump it. Right. <laughs> so everybody has a different strategy, but we're all, how do we learn? How do you, how does the entire globe learn something new? How does the entire world suddenly go from a phone on the wall to a phone in your pocket from writing letters to writing emails, right? The entire world has adopted one new idea after another in the last 20 years, right? Last, maybe it's a little longer. Yeah, 20 years. It's only been 20 years, people, right? 20 years? Yeah, a little, yeah, mm, a little, maybe 25 years. Right, and we are in a revolution that is as significant as any, as the Industrial Revolution, is the age of steam, <laughs> the age of air transportation. I mean, so many things have happened. My dad is 90, you know, and he's he's seen it go from pretty much, you know, the Model T Ford to the Tesla. <laughs> you know, that's pretty amazing. All right, uh, where are we? The one day's, I'm sorry about this chart, people. It's not doing what I want it to do, so... Please forgive me. All right, 30 minutes. Let's look at the 30 minutes. Okay, come on. What is going on? That's useless. I don't know what the hell I've done. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to reload. Let's see if I can just refresh and get you a chart that actually is viewable. Good, finally. Yeah, so when in doubt, refresh. <laughs> I really screwed that chart up. Good. But again, this is how we learn. We have to, you know, we have to see if we can break stuff. You know, this is the one hour chart. Let's go back to the one day chart so that we can kind of get our grounding here. All right. So let's see if I can just expand this a little and not go crazy. So we literally have this double top now. You know, and it's like, is Ethereum at its limit? Is it as good as it can be right now? Is it still, you know, I hear people who are technical talking about Ethereum and the ICOs and how, you know, one guy can, you know, really affect the Ethereum network to everyone's detriment. Uh, evidently, there was a drop that happened in near recentness that just, you know, took Ethereum practically to zero. And then it recovered, but it was, you know, that stuff could still happen. So there's a lot that we don't understand. And there's a lot that people who understand stuff don't understand. And there's a lot that's in the realm of human dynamics that almost nobody understands because the human response to external conditions and inputs is so complex. And that's why it's so fascinating. Because we're in our own brains, we're in our own minds. And we're looking out at this world. And now we're looking out at a window looking out at the world, right? This is not, this is something that's happening collectively with a bunch of different minds. It's, it's a mind map. All right, so where was I? Let's look at the one hours. Why did it suddenly go dim? Maybe they don't do one. Oh, there we go. Okay. And on the one hours, what is it doing? We have some support here at 352 and these little whiskers at 348. So it it looks on the one hours like it took some serious some serious uh, breathing, some serious breaths here. Um, these are a little bit higher. These, these little sell-offs are a little bit higher, so maybe that's a good sign for some, some strength. Let's look at the 10-minutes. Uh, let's, 
Nice. Okay. So the 10 minute chart, that's, that's a little bit for me, a little bit more encouraging because these, these bottoms are higher and we'll see what that one does. But, um, so that kind of looks like, okay, now people are buying into this, you know, this little drop and that would be, you know, probably the day traders are like, okay, um, I'll get in here, right, and then ride it up again, and then the next time it corrects, they sell, and then let it drop, and then they ride it up again. Or, you know, some of these guys are figuring out how to short the market, which is interesting as well. That's a whole other thing. Let's look at the five minutes. Nice sideways trading range here on the five minutes. So it looks like you know, if you wanted to get in and get some more Ethereum, today would be a good shopping day if you were to do that. And again, this is not to be construed as financial advice. It's just me looking at it and going, huh, if I wanted to get more Ethereum, this would be a good time. And I might actually get a, a little bit more. I might get a second Ethereum. I have one. And um, I had a little more than one. And I took the little more and I put it in something else, which I'll talk about in a minute. Okay, so... Let's just look at the one minute chart. Okay, so on the one minute chart, we're moving up again. We're moving up again and there's some pretty good support here. Let's see, you know, we'll see in the next minute <laughs> what happens. So that's really cool, good information. So that's Ethereum and uh, let's go back to the one day. Nice. I'm feeling like Ethereum is just taking a little bit of a breather and then it's gonna keep going, we'll see. Uh, I love a double top. Or it, this whole thing, it may do a sideways trading range, you know, for the, who knows. And that would be a big sideways trading range. So uh, we had a little sideways trading range here. And we had another little one here and another little one here. So it's setting up little sideways trading ranges. So for me, that's, I'm sitting in the woods looking at <laughs> the nature of this forest right, of this jungle, uh, and trying to understand it and observe it before I do too much uh, that could be really dumb. <laughs> All right, so let's go next to uh, one coin I'm looking at, and it's nice to have a chart of it, is IOTA. Good time to get into IOTA. It's cheap, and it is revolutionary, and it's very interesting, and I'm not going to get into it now, but... Uh, I'm looking to get me some IOTA soon, and that's partly why I'm doing this. I want to get IOTA, and I want to get Monero, and I'm working on doing that. Okay. Let's look at Litecoin. Litecoin. Oh, man. Litecoin was it was up, 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 and then it, it paused. Oh, what a surprise. Things pause. Take a breath, right? People took their profits. I don't know. I'm really bullish on Litecoin. I'm hanging on. I'm not. This is not my sell point yet. I'm gonna watch it first, and let's look at the. The one hour chart. And I love Litecoin's little sideways trading ranges. It just seems to be so tradable. I don't know. You know, it gives you all these little signals and you have plenty of time to like make a decision and do it. And I think it's the perfect, at the moment, the perfect crypto for a newbie. Because <laughs> it's not Bitcoin. It's smaller, yet it still has plenty of market capital and liquidity. And, you know, if you look down here, this is all the, the volume stuff. And uh, nice. I like it. I like it. Oh, I have some. And I'm not selling it yet. So let's see. 30 minutes. On the 30 minute chart. We have a lovely little bit of higher bottoms. Uh, these are lower tops. So it's not necessarily a, uh, a sideways range. It's kind of making it an actual wedge. But let's, let's draw a little line here just for fun since we're all learning. How exciting is that? And uh, can I just draw another line? Wait, will I have it? No. Okay. I've got to click this again. Um, no. So I don't know what that tells us other than 
that it could go down or it could go up. <laughs> but mostly, you know, and this is where the intuitional or the musician in me comes and goes. It feels like it has a lot of support. And it's just a profit-taking moment for people or a little breath. Let's look at the five minutes. Yeah, if you, you know, it's like there's more green here than red. And it's, I love these candle charts. They're pretty cool. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where this finds support and if the support is higher, you know, and, it's, and it wants to break back out. But this is, well, it's interesting. I don't think Labor Day is a holiday all over the world. And it is a weekend, though, pretty much all over the world. So it'd be kind of interesting to see where the fundamentals come in on this. So let's go to the one minute chart. And let's make it a little smaller. Okay, now here, this is interesting. On the one minute chart, we have the sideways trading range and uh, it's dipping down almost to my line. So it'd be interesting to see if it breaks below my line, it might drop more. If it kind of finds this line and, and has some support right around here, then it, it may just be gearing up for its next move. Interesting. All right. And let's find some Monero. I think Monero is XMR. Let's go to the one day chart. Okay. So Monero, it is a nice little sideways range and again I want to thank my subscriber Alan you're awesome and thank you so much for all your comments and uh, this is a really nice little point to get into Monero and I feel like Monero is making a move but it's not overpriced it feels like it's a good currency it's a really good currency to keep your shit private and a lot of us like that because our main number one adversary in the world is the government. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I advocate pay your taxes, do, do what you need to do. But eventually, I think governments need to change the way they do business. They need to stop taking so much of our money and wasting it on war. And, uh, you know, we are living in a corporate oligarchy. <laughs> so... That's, that's, I have a little bit of a radical uh, understanding of the world, and it gets more radical the more I get into this whole crypto sphere. <laughs> and I uh, highly suggest you check out some, some of the outspoken people like Jeff Berwick of the Dollar Vigilante. Always entertaining. You might not agree with everything he says, but be aware of the fact that really smart people are looking at the world and seeing what needs to change. And that's always been the case, and change is always interesting. And I'm hearing a lot from some of the early adapters of the Bitcoin and crypto stuff. I'm hearing them go like, oh, there goes the neighborhood kind of a thing, you know. Uh, here come the idiots. <laughs> right here, here comes the general population. Uh, we got to go play someplace else. Um, <laughs> however, it's just... It's the lifespan of a new idea, right? Early adapters come in. The real fringe thinkers come in and they see potential and they start talking to each other. And then then it's this, this whole word of mouth thing that begins to happen. It kind of pulses out and pulses in and pulses out and pulses in. It's like a virus. It is literally a thought virus. And, it, and it's a good thing. It's, it's like something goes viral on YouTube. All of a sudden, everybody is, is experiencing it. And because we've lost the homogeneous, the homogeneousness of the media. Like there used to be CBS, NBC, and ABC, right? And then your local station where I grew up, it was uh, CBS, NBC, ABC. Uh, there was uh, the local um, public television and there were two local channels. There was uh Channel 11 and Channel 9, and they had they were local, and they just like showed had crappy programming. That was it. Uh, there were three radio stations in New York City, or four, you know, that played rock music. 
there were, you know, four, three or four AM stations. And so pretty much a song could be played on the radio and everybody would know it, right? That doesn't happen anymore. There's no, uh, there's no one place where everyone is singing a song, right? And, and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and uh, all of the, the monster musicians from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, they, they had a platform which if you could get into it, if you could get the record companies to let you in, you could really knock it out of the park and the entire world would be singing your song. That does not happen anymore. That has been disrupted by the, the narrow casting not broadcasting the narrow casting of the internet because we can go exactly to a place we're interested in and hear only the stuff that we think we want to hear. So that's, I think, really good in many ways. <clears throat> and as a songwriter, it's frustrating, but what the hell? This is where I am right now. To spend very little time with the regrets is really important, uh, an important part of your kind of coming coming into your own in your mind. And, and I had to, to remind of my friend the other day, he was talking about, well, if I'd only if I hadn't messed around with the high yield interest, high yield investment programs, uh, the high yield interest paying programs, whatever they're called, the hypes, if I hadn't messed around with that and just held my Litecoin, I would have X amount right now. And I'm like, dude, you can't go there. You can't focus on the what ifs and the, you know, the, the might have been's right. Because you'll go crazy that way. You have to, and this could be a spiritual practice where you're staying in the present moment going, what is it doing right now? It's not doing what I want it to do. It's doing what it's doing. Right. And you have to respond appropriately. <clears throat> and I think that's why it triggers some really basic human, human things, human things. Yeah. Human things. I'm going to um, go back to uh, Bitcoin. Uh, so like last night, I was staying up because I thought it might cross the $5,000 line. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bed. <laughs> right? And it didn't. So anyway, that's that's it for my ramblings and my thinkatings. And there's so there are so many different cryptos. Oh, 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 I was going to tell you what I did. I could find it. What the hell did I do? Or what's it called? Well, I guess I won't tell you. Well, I found a chart with Augur. And I'm revealing also my ignorance here, but I really liked what was going on with Augur. So I took, I took a little bit of Ethereum and a little bit of Dash and a little bit of Litecoin and I moved it into some Augur. Uh, and it was great. The exchanges took 10 minutes you know, in my wallet, in my shapeshift wallet. And uh, it was really nice. And that's one of the reasons why I'm glad I'm kind of on the sidelines of Bitcoin because, you know, if it takes all day to confirm a transaction, I can't use it as a trader. I mean, I can maybe hold it long term, but and they've got to fix that. And if they don't fix it, you're going to see a serious correction. But right now, the general public doesn't know about that. They don't care. They're not technically savvy enough to know that they're buying something that isn't as advertised. It doesn't do the things it used to do, right? That's the challenge as we kind of, as I kind of educate myself here. I'm starting to learn. And this happens everywhere. Like, you don't go to a town and buy a house, right, without knowing anything about the town, right? The best way to, to buy a house if you're moving to a new place is to rent for a year, right? Rent for a year, get in there, look around, see what you really like, see what neighborhood you want to be in, see, you know, whether you even want to be in that town or you want to be in the next one over, you know, and then you can make your decision. And, you, and like if you're moving from New York City to upstate New York, everything seems cheap, right? It's like, oh my God. But if you live here, you're like, yeah, this New Yorker came and he bought, he's paid that for that piece of, you know, junk property. And you're like, oh, yeah. And that's the different, different markets, different mindsets. It's all hypnosis, people. <laughs> and I'll keep saying that. It's all hypnosis. 
So uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, please share this with somebody. And I will continue sharing my learning curve with you guys. Uh, this is essentially the end of week number five of my 90-day challenge. And uh, so we're halfway, you know, kind of halfway through the... No, no, we're not halfway through. We're about a third of the way through. There. I did some math in my head. And uh, I really love that you guys are, are giving me ideas and uh, setting me straight if I if I uh, spew something that's wrong and, you know, learn. I'm just learning how to work the damn charts, you know. And, oh, look, I can go this way. And, you know, I don't know if I can go this way. I don't know. I'm just trying stuff. I'm clicking on stuff and trying it, you know. And to do that on camera for me, it's kind of a big deal because I like learning when no one's looking over my shoulder so that I can make mistakes, right? But this is also part of my own practice of, you know what? Mistakes are part of the process. Failure is not wrong, right? We have to learn. How do you actually learn? None of us just got up from crawling on all fours and walked, right? There was a process of getting up and strengthening the muscles to get up and then standing and all this kind of stuff. None of us learned to ride a bicycle the first day, right? Some of us learned faster than others, right? It took me years to learn how to ride a freaking bicycle, right? <laughs> uh, I'm a kinesthetic internal. Kinesthetic externals are really good at sports and physical stuff like that. And it turns out, we can all learn new things. The old dog can learn new tricks. It's possible. And learning is one of the best things to keep our minds young and to keep our hearts light. And I love learning. And thank you guys for learning with me. And oh my God, I'm getting so getting wound up. So thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> so uh, let's start some music and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, grooviness over and out. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. This is, I'm having a blast. Thanks so much. Peace. Here we go. Woo.